first and foremost, welcome to the world of strengths. We have hundreds of characters for you to play with as you try to form the perfect team. This video is for those of you that want to learn how to play or anyone that just wants to freshen up on the rules. Feel free to look in the description of the video and skip to the timestamp that you need. There are a few types of cards in the game. Character cards. These are your basic cards in the game. This is going to be who you're playing as. Each character has their own unique set of attacks. On a character card, the following is listed. The name of the character. The health of the character. The attack for the character if you land on heads. The attack for the character if you land on tails. And finally, the series that the character comes from. It's best to mix and match to find the best possible team based on their attacks. There's certain character cards that are harder to find than others. These are team-up cards and rare cards. They usually have a better set of attacks than normal character cards. You can tell you have a rare card by finding the card with the gold background, while team-up cards have two characters from different series on a single card. Item cards. These are cards you pick up as the game is played. It has a similar layout to the character cards. To know if you have an item card, you can check the top of the card. It will be labeled item. The name of the item will be below in the middle. Very similarly, you will also have two possible effects of the items. Lastly, if an item can be used out of turn, it will be labeled as such. All other items must be used during your turn. There's actually more than one way to play a game of Shranks. So we're going to break it down into two easy ways. Playing for fun. Playing for fun is usually done when you only have a single deck. You can play for fun in teams or in a free-for-all. To play in a free-for-all, you take a single deck and deal 4-6 to six characters to each player. You then take your items and put them face down in the middle of the field. Each player now has their own hand and deck. To play teams for fun. When playing teams for fun, take two decks and separate into teams of two. Separate the deck the same way you did for free-for-all, but do it for each team. Each player now has their own item deck in front of them and four to six characters. The players will take an item after they attack. Playing for glory. Playing for glory really means that you want to prove that you're the best. It's proof to others that you have the best characters, cards, and strategy. Just like playing for fun, you can play for glory in two different ways. Free for all for glory. Each player has their own deck. They pick a team of four to six characters. Each player now shuffles their own individual item deck and places 7 to 12 items in front of them. This will be the items they use during the game. To play Teams for Glory When playing Teams for Glory, each player has their own deck. They must now split up into teams of two. They're allowed to see the team members' characters and items. Each player will now shuffle 7 to 12 item cards from their deck and place it in front of them. The Playing Field The playing field is very simple. You pick two characters that have active at all times. The other two to four characters will be face down. In front of you are the items that you shuffled. When a turn is complete, you can pick up a single item. Cards you are done with can either go back in your deck or within a discard pile. Parts of a turn. When it's your turn, the following actions must be taken. First, a player looks at his or her hand. They make sure they have the cards they want to use. If they want to switch out characters, they can do this now. Second, the player must announce what character or item that they'll be using for this turn. An item can be used at the beginning or end of a turn. The player then announces what character that they will be attacking. The player then flips a coin to decide what action they will take. Heads will be the top action of the card and tails will be the bottom. The player moves forward with the action. If someone is attacked, they take note of their own health loss. If an item was used during this turn, it is now discarded. Multiple items can be used during a turn. The player then takes a new card from the backside up item pile. The next player then goes. If you're having a hard time keeping score, you can download the Shrank's Companion app, currently available in the Amazon App Store and in Google Play, with an iOS version coming out soon. In the app, click Play. You can then select the number of characters that you'll be using during the game. Pick the characters you would plan to use by clicking the circle and then set their health according to their card by using the arrow buttons. The Shranks app can also be used to track what characters you have. Attack Types There are many different attack types in the game. Here's a breakdown of each one. Hit 
A hit is a standard attack in the game. This attack does a specified amount of damage to a targeted player. Heal. Healing is a unique ability in the game that some characters have. Depending on the character, they may be able to heal themselves or an ally of theirs. You can only heal a card that's in your hand or in your teammate's hand. Stun. A stun allows you to temporarily stop another character or player. Depending on your card, you may be able to stun a single character in a player's hand or the player entirely. If both characters in a player's hand are stunned, the player is skipped and an item cannot be used that round. A stun only lasts a single round. Absorb. An absorb allows you to hit a specified number of characters and receive the health you hit them with. Return. A return is a counterattack that sends damage back to your attacker. If you flip a return, you'll be able to counter a single attack aimed at you. A return will not allow you to take health back only deal a lot of number of damage. Depending on your character, you can only return a certain amount of damage. Reroute. A reroute allows you to send an attack directed at you to any other player on the field. The reroute state will last a single round. If you are attacked during that round, you'll be able to send the reroute to any other player. Double. Double is a stat boost on your next round. Sometimes it can multiply your power by two or add 10 to the standard number of damage. The stat boost only lasts for one round. Vision. Vision allows you to ask another player to reveal their cards. This can be an item or a character. Depending on the character, it may also force a player to discard an item. Change. A change is an attack that forces a player to switch out one or both characters in their hand. If they have no remaining characters, it will inflict 10 or more damage. Revive. Revive allows a character to bring back a discarded card. Depending on the character, they may be able to bring back one character or one item. You may use a revive on your hand or on a teammate's hand. Instant Kill These are attacks that can instantly kill a single character. It can be used once per character. If the character is revived, the instant kill can be used again. Team Team attacks are stronger than normal attacks but they require a specific card be in your hand. For example, on this card, you need rotting to get the full effect of your attack. Questions. Thanks for watching the how to play video. If you have any questions on the rules, please feel free to ask in the comments below, or you could actually send us an email at support at with any questions. Thanks again, and we really hope you enjoy the game.